Guys, Glengarry Glen Ross is another movie that I've seen. <laughs> the movies you're listening to the movies I've seen <laughs> podcast with Randy uh, Ipcut. Ha, my name's Randy, and in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the film uh, Ernest Goes to Jail. Uh, in the movie, there is a man named Ernest who uh, goes to jail. And lots of things happen in regards to him being in jail. Well, I wonder how <laughs> how many people you could get to listen <laughs> to listen to an hour of that. The films I've seen. The films I've seen. Ah, my name's Randy. <laughs> Another film I've seen is the sequel to Jurassic Park, which the name escapes me at this moment. But folks, the dinosaurs are back and they're angrier than ever. They're biting, they're slashing, some of them are flying. Is that an egg I see? Oh no, the egg's opening. Now the, now there's baby dinosaurs running but, around. Yeah, yeah. They're going to grow up and be back out yeah. dinosaurs pretty Hi, soon. Hi, my name's Randy and you're listening to the Movies I've Seen <laughs> podcast. On today's episode, 101 Dalmatians. Let's count them up. One, One Dalmatian, <laughs> two, two Dalmatians, Dalmatians <laughs> three Dalmatians. Four Dalmatians. Oops, here comes five. Five Dalmatians. Oh no, there's the sixth one. Now we got six Dalmatians, folks. Stay tuned. Uh, Seven Dalmatians. How did stand up comedy exist? Like, how was it fueled for 15 to 20 years on this substance, cocaine? I don't know. The leather jackets. Have you ever watched old John Stewart stand up? Oh my God. He's so, so fucking funny. Oh, here's this is the only so uh, because I was going to do I that. I love that Mark Marin and John Stewart yeah. hate each other. I was going to do that Vogue birthday party, the Anna Wintour oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the only joke that I wanted to do, I was hoping there'd be like a fat fashion lady there so I could call her Nutella DeVille. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for a home for that joke for probably weeks now. <laughs> I don't know who to call Nutella DeVille because you know what it is? Anytime there's a like a fat, fabulous woman, everybody's like, ooh, that bitch Ursula. Look, it's Ursula. Ursula, that's they always go, Ursula, the first one. Yeah, yeah. Which Nutella DeVille is great. So, it's guys, better. if you have an opportunity, let's get rid of Ursula. Let's swap in fucking uh, Nutella DeVille. I feel like that Randy character, that could that could sort of make up the for the last... The films I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> huh. <laughs> My name's Randy, and this week I watched Five Easy Pieces, starring Jack Nicholson as Jonathan Five. Is that your favorite movie? Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. Well, you know what? It was my favorite movie when I was 19, and then... Uh, right I wouldn't around, say it's my favorite. Right around 20, 21, I stopped caring about anything. Like, I said, like, like uh, being passionate about things. Things being good. Yeah. yeah so. That's what happened to me after I saw The Room. I yeah. Like, there's, no, th there's no such thing as good, and there's what, no such thing as bad. What was your favorite bad. movie when you were a kid? My list of favorite things was so bad. It was bad, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think like high school is Gladiator. Yeah. Because I saw it with my dad. We talked about this on the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. Um, it was a bad movie. I saw it recently. Pretty bad. Ghost Dog Way of the Samurai. I thought that movie was a kick ass. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was really cool. Ugh. I told you, I saw Jim Jarmusch walking around the village. Jim Jarmusch? I don't think anyone knows how to pronounce his name. Jim Jarmusch? Germ Jarmusch. Jarmusch? Jim Jarmusch. J Jim Jar, that's a good podcast. Ha, my name's Randy, and you're listening to the How to Pronounce Jim Jar, Jim Jim Jar, Jim Jarmish's name podcast, sponsored by the Anthony Cumia Network. Uh, we we have been blessed with Anthony. Mister Cumia has allowed us to come in his studio and discuss Jim Jarmish's name. Norman Wilkerson is going to message me and call me uh, so many names for how bad this is. This podcast right yeah. now? Yeah, and he, even the good ones, Norman, it's like, oh, it's a fucking awful show. It's <laughs> fucking says terrible. That? Yeah, he's like, you guys are fucking idiots. This is really? a bad show. Yeah. But he's your friend. I know. That's why he thinks it's okay to say that to me. But he's doing that to like shit on you because he's your friend. Yeah, right? but he's still shitting on me, legitimately. Me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so just to catch everyone up that's not in the room, we're going to finish this right now, gonna and then we're going to finish the podcast. Who the fuck is setting off 9-11 fireworks? <laughs> it's for 9-11, dude. I, come on, man. Those are actually coming from Staten Island. Are they? They're firing them across the Verrazano. Yeah. But they do that every day. They we celebrate 9-11 when the clock hits it. We should go to Staten Island for the 9-11 parade tomorrow. <laughs> 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 it's the number one holiday Staten Island they love that shit dude um alright so I guess I alright that's off putting I don't like the, I don't like those fireworks going off yeah I don't what like if there were, what if there were veterans in this neighborhood you know you can't even make popcorn around veterans you can't do fireworks 
What's your favorite war? My favorite war? Yeah. Uh, hold on one second. What's yours? You tell me yours. Uh, my favorite war. Um, I don't know. I don't have one. Hampton used to. Oh, never mind. Okay, uh, I think the. Uh, I was. I think the uh, a cool war was eighteen twelve, because we were the bad guys, sort of, and uh, it ended, and Andrew Jackson didn't like know that it ended. And he destroyed New Orleans. Like the war was over, and he was like, "Well, there's there's still war going on." So then he just like marched down to New Orleans, and then he he raised the entire city. I think that's pretty badass. Was that was the Six Flags there when this happened? Uh, this was bef- this was. Uh, Have we ever talked about that? Flags? Our day trip to the Six Flags? No, I don't think we've talked about it on the podcast. That's pretty. It doesn't cool. matter. This isn't good podcast content. You know, nobody wants to hear about a time we went to. This <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Yeah, no, dude. it's funny. The we went to fucking Six dude. Flags. It was badass, dude. It was like fucking no, we shot down. It. We hung out there. And like, okay, so yo, Nick we and I were in New his, Orleans. His girlfriend was there, and fucking we said shit to her, and then there was that other bitch. Nick and I were in New Orleans. There's a Six Flags that's been left derelict since Katrina, and like if you hop a fence, you can like go inside. It looks like a post-apocalyptic, you know. It looks pretty badass, but uh, we were laughing the whole time because there's just graffiti everywhere, and one of the most prevalent parts of graffiti is just uh guys like in the middle of doing a swastika being like oh fuck i did it wrong again yeah they guys fucked they up. can't figure out the swastika until you get to the end of the park and then there was a couple done right so there's like a guy that you could it was documented <laughs> it told the whole story learning how to do a swastika on the day you went to six flags and that's a memory he has now is the day you went to six flags and learned how to draw a swastika it's pretty cool he'll have that the rest of his life yeah fun so- shape swastika to draw yeah the and that s, s thing i saw i saw the s, with s three lines i saw that s is uh like sidewalk graffiti somebody put that into cement hell yeah <laughs> uh that's good that's good shit that's so, good um i'm gonna call this episode scarface <laughs> can we talk about scarface for a minute we can talk about scarface for scarface uh i guess we watched it together in april yeah. this thing's we're actually gonna run out of time on the sd card we haven't done a podcast this long before, so this is going to run out of time. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Scarface. Um, it's bad. It's very bad. It was fun. We were laughing at Michelle Pfeiffer, remember? Because she was like, "Oh yeah, she's just the biggest cunt in the world." That's yeah, her yeah. character. Oh yeah, the best. I'm from Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> she's at that like fancy gala or whatever, <laughs> looking all fucking. You know, she's like some snooty bitch or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, where are you from? And she goes, Baltimore. <laughs> like, it's not a shithole. All right, get the fuck. Please, oh, this, this cat. cat. This cat is a fucking nightmare, dude. All right. The cat is the villain of the You know what? Podcast. And this isn't going to end with the cat throwing up because the cat already threw up before the podcast started. <laughs> I'm sitting right now next to a pile of vomit on the floor that I stepped in, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Luckily, I don't have to clean it off because there's already vomit everywhere. So, you know what? We should we should just call it, dude. We'll call I think it. it's over. It's over. 